Hi guys, we're just running because the police are holding back people up at this wall. We're going to try and show you. Yep, we need everyone. Nice. So what's going on? So we don't know what's going on, guys. We just... People said they're holding back police at the wall. So just trying to figure out what's going on. That's not a big deal, it's only three people. Hi. Hey, how's it going? What's going on? Why is everyone holding back three officers? I don't know. I just think you're oh. to hold the line. Well, you don't need to hold the line if there's only three of them. That's or was there heaps? Well, just no, though. Well, they can't. No. Yeah. 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 So yesterday they claimed the bank because it's occupied by Yeah. So they can do that. But now they're trying to have a police and three parking on the other end. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but but we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So how many police were there all up? Seven of them? Okay. So, I don't know what happened. We just heard that there were a whole lot of police and people didn't want them on the land, apparently. Good morning. Good morning. Now, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Good, mate. So, I mean, what's going on? Do you know? Looks like, um, the people just don't want the police on here at all because they have been walking through to help with like people that have been injured so people don't want them on here at all yeah i haven't got close enough to understand what the issue is okay um, all right i'll go closer <sighs> well hey, Chantel. i feel like i know you oh. <laughs> Oh, no, it's just nice meeting people, eh? I think it's lovely. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Just trying to figure out what's happened. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you going? Hey, sorry about yesterday with that guy. Oh. Uh, no, I know. It got on the news. What got on the news? That guy with me there. Oh, really? On my live feed? Oh, really? And they painted us. Well, yeah, well, I mean, that's his own fault. Like, I said to him, I was like, why would you do that? And I. Yeah, that's frustrating. Oh, okay, so people are. Thank you so much for what you do. I really mean that. You really are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> right, so everyone's holding that. So, apparently, by the sounds of it, um, People have trespassed the police off the land, and so now they don't want the police coming on at all. Um, I'm in mixed minds because obviously everyone's up allowed to make their own decisions, that everyone can decide what they want to do if that's how they want to, to cope with this. However, the police have been on here a lot. They've carried out people that were sick, and that was all fine. So I'm just not quite sure yet. Hi. Conversation for anyone who wants to help with homeschooling, doing some out of classroom education. Cool, I love that. Oh, on site. Hi, everybody. Here's beautiful flowers for your day. I hope you're all feeling well and happy. If anyone is on site currently at Parliament, oh, hi, Belinda, and wants to come and have a conversation with us, we're just um, putting together a wee roster for people who are teaching um, teachers or mummers who want to help with a home um, like education out of the classroom roster so that we can do a few organised hours um, 
we're facilitating for our tamariki here on site, making sure that they're really looked after and that they're getting everything that they need. And we need, um, you know, as many of you who are here, come here now. I'm here with this beautiful lady. Thank you, Chantal. Oh, thanks, we're just lovely. by the Freedom Wall. Um, to the yoga, just at the end of, um, in, what is it, the left-hand side of the main stage. Thank you, my love. Thanks for the shout-out. Thanks, Chantal. Um, thank you. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so, everyone did that and made the officers leave. However, I don't know, I still don't understand what the big deal was. Like, it doesn't look like there were very many police. It doesn't look like they were trying to grab anyone or take anyone away. So, maybe they decided the environment was not going to work out. Can anyone... Ask this guy in the orange shirt, guys. Guys, is anyone willing to tell people what's going on? Yeah, I don't know what the police are particularly wanting to do in here, but they've come, those three cops came up here and were they wanting to come onto the property? Apparently, a trespass order has been served on the cops, don't come on. A trespass order is general, so they shouldn't be coming on. But in the middle of the night, when we're all asleep, so they can walk through. You know, it, it, it's crazy. Those cops have also got family. Exactly. You know, well, so we, you know, we've got to be. You know, well, I don't, that's so why I don't really understand. Beings. I don't really understand what just so happened because the police have come on multiple times. And it's been fine. So what was everyone's and problem? A trespass order has been served. We love you guys, but tough shit. A trespass okay. order has been served. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's why they don't want anyone on here. Okay. So if, if there's like, because what happened the other day, right? There was an emergency, and then a, and then they let a whole lot of cops onto the land to come and help with that person. So they're not going to let them do that again. They're not going to let the officers help the people. But that just seems like we're going to use them when we want them. But then, you know what I mean? Like this is what I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Are they here? Are they here to talk to? Yeah, I would like to talk to one of them, just so people at home can see their perspective. Is we need cool? a system. Yeah. We need to make a system because this is happening yeah. all morning. This is happening just for the second time. Wait, is in the police? Yeah, there were six of them this morning. Okay. Okay. So is there a mouldy water near here? Maybe. Um, I'll come over and ask these guys. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. Is, hi, how are you guys? Is anyone willing to tell people watching at home what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, over here? Do these... Oh, cool. I might ask these. Sorry. sorry. Hey guys, I'm just trying to give an update to people watching at home about what just happened. The camera's on the trees at the moment. Is anyone willing to talk about what's been going on? Yeah, cool. I'll just, I'll just turn the camera around because the sound's a lot better. Oh yeah, so uh, we were just parked up and obviously watching um, on the security for um, the organisation. We were down this alleyway, we had um, three officers can approaching. Can we take the radio away just so that they can hear him? Is that alright? Sorry. We had three officers approaching down here. And basically, we asked them to turn around uh, maybe 10, 15 metres out, and um, they continued to uh, move in, whereby we formed a wall and just kind of advanced. Yeah. Thankfully, we had um, uh, support come in, and we formed quite a strong block. So what was the need to do that? Because if there's only a few of them, well, they're obviously not trying to come and grab people. I think it was flexing, flexing their ability to walk where they want. Okay. So now they've been officially. Here they come. They've been officially. Oh, there's more now. So they've been officially just to put. So they're, they're coming back, but there's been. I, the, I am live. The, I am live. Um, but, so I'm just trying to figure out. So the other times, been yeah. Right. Yeah. Other times they've come through. They weren't officially trespassed. They've been trespassed. They're not allowed to walk down this area. Okay. So now we're gonna. We're about to form a block. So I'm gonna get on this. Back, get on this. Back, I probably will. I'll probably. Okay. So please sit here. Um. This is a hard one because it's like, well, if they're not grabbing people, they're not trying to instigate anything. So I'm just not understanding. I guess that's where the trespass notice comes in. That's cool. I get that. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we're like, just went down to get a coffee and we're like, what then we saw you all live. We're like, oh, fucking what? Well, I'm just trying to figure it out because the police have been on multiple times to help with people that are sick and injured. Yeah. So then that's been okay. Yeah. But then this isn't okay when they're not, and they're not trying to grab people. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, are people just trying to be selectively trespassing them? Like, is that... Yeah. Yeah, that's a very good point to make. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I, because I'm kind of like, well, that's not really, and if they're just walking around, I think that's kind of okay, because there's a few people that have been real rowdy that do need, we yeah. probably need police help with. Yeah. So then it's just kind of trying to figure out, okay, are they never wanting any officers on here, and what does that look like, or is it just, so like, this is... Someone needs to go down, someone needs to go down and speak with them. Yeah, absolutely, and just find out what's actually going yeah. on. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've asked them, but they just said they're trespassed. But then again, they've been allowed, like, it's been fine when there's been an emergency. Yeah. And we obviously can't get emergency cars in here. So that's when the expectation, you know, it's like, well... Absolutely. Is that up to the security guys? Yeah, well, yeah, I just, yeah. I just said that. But, I, I mean, again, I'm not leadership. I'm just, I think everyone's entitled to make their own decisions. But if people are going to create this much chaos and if someone is hurt, they're not going to want to come in. And then what happens to that person? You know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm? So I'm just going to read you guys' comments and see. Can you point the camera to the police? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just also, yeah. So the police aren't doing anything. They haven't been running up trying to grab people. They're not running up trying to grab anyone. They were just walking through, um, which they have done a lot. Are they however, are they grabbing people? no, they're not. They haven't done anything. That's the point. They haven't done anything. Yeah, Rewa, we don't want to give them a reason to make our hospital. Yeah, Nancy. Nancy said you are forcing the police to get violent. Um, this is the whole thing, right? People are allowed to peacefully protest, but. If you're going to create lines and hold them out from even going anywhere when it's been okay for them to come through multiple times to help with emergencies, then whatever happens, then the, the people are the ones that then are the ones that are not being peaceful, not the police. So, yeah. Like I said, guys, everyone that is involved in this, hey, how are you? Everyone that's involved in this will be accountable for their own choices. Um, They've got to know what hold the line means. Yeah, Lisa, come on people, Don't not all police are bad. Yeah, at the end of the day, a trespass notice is what it is. But, yeah. I understand, guys, I understand both sides and I get it. But people have talked with the police, they've been walking through, there's been lots of community police, everything's been okay. And then all of a sudden, they've decided they don't want any police on here. But again, the, the streets, guys, are all blocked up, all there, all there, all there, down the side roads. If there's an emergency and someone's really sick... The police have actually come through previously. They've walked through here and grabbed the person on behalf of the people. So this is where things can get quite messy, right? It's like, what does that look like if there is an emergency? We do have, we've got first aid. Yeah. Jake, can you?
It's it, that's the thing. I, no, exactly. It's but just people, people, people. But that's why I mean, like, if people are going to be accountable for their own decisions, you know what I mean? So. So what, when you say why do they come in, like we've got everything here to help people, it's all yeah. set up. So what do you? What well, do you no, like they've had to carry people out. The police have come in before to carry people out on stretches. Before that already happened a couple of days ago. So like this is what I mean. Like people have that's been okay, and that's when we had the medic tents and everything. But there's situations that they're not set up for in here. Like cardiac events and emergency situations. Yeah, seems pretty good. A good team. No, over to the... I know that, but yeah. the team rang the police and asked them for help. Right. So I understand that. I get it. But the team asked for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, like I said, it's not my, it's not my, you know, it's not my judgment or anything like that. I'm just showing people what's going on and talking it through. Um, yeah. Chantal. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you, you know, all we can do is comment as an everyday person, watching what's happening. You know, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, lovely. How are you? My mum's oh. here. She just wants to. Oh, really? Oh, where is she? Um, this girl is the most amazing singer, guys. Do you have a Facebook or anything? I do. How yeah. can people find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram under Chloe Palmer. Chloe Palmer? Chloe underscore Palmer. Okay. She's beautiful and amazing. Is this your mum? Amazing, thank oh, you so much. Oh, thank you. I think your daughter's amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was literally great. fangirling over her music. She's I, incredible. I'm from Canterbury too. Are you? Oh Naitahu. cool. Naitahu, oh wonderful. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this your son? Yeah. Oh my gosh, hi. Yeah. Hi. He's like, nah, I'm having a great time on the chalk wall. <laughs> oh. oh thank you. I'm like you're losing my voice. Yeah, 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 you do, eh? We're just trying to yeah, here we are. Sorry, we're just trying to read that. I'm pretty sure if there was a medical emergency, people would let them through. Isabel, I understand that, but the thing is, you can't, you, if you trespass police and say they're never allowed on here, then if someone has an emergency, you can't then be like, oh, no, 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 all of a sudden you're not trespassing when it works for us. Like, this is, that, that's the issue, right? Unless you're just going to revoke the notice and then it all opens up again. And this is where it gets really difficult. And yes, someone said, I thought it was wanted for police to walk through and engage and listen to people. I'm pretty sure they were asked to come in. Yeah, that's what I heard from leadership as well. The police, they said, hey, bring them in and like, you know, little groups or whatever and just get them to chat to people, get them to rebuild trust with people. Um, that's what I heard. Yeah. So I guess situations like this make me a little bit, someone said, why would the police need help with medical situations? Wouldn't it be paramedics? Um, the police had to walk with the paramedics because obviously for the paramedics, even though we know that everyone here is really lovely and safe, the paramedics um, walked with police assistance. So they had to have, I think it was, it was like maybe 10 of them that came through with the paramedics at the same time. Um... All right, guys, at the moment, that's it. Nothing more has happened. Um, we're actually about to meet with a sign language interpreter so we can do some tours for the deaf, um, deaf community so that they can know what's understand, what's happening and we can go and talk to people. So we're going to meet them soon. Um, Shona said, clear the lanes and let the buses have access in for emergency vehicles. Um, yeah, but no one wanted that, you know? Like, we, I tried to help move one bus stop, literally, like, that long with about six cars in it and people lost the plot <laughs> so i think this is the problem it makes it quite difficult because if people aren't prepared you know if, if, you know what what are, what are people meant to do this is the problem right and this is what everyone's talking about and trying to work through at the moment is the trust issue and i understand it don't get me wrong i fully understand it like some of you will remember that this time last week was a horrible day for pretty much all of us you know like it was really traumatic and even now people yell at night sometimes they yell hold the line but they don't understand what it means because they're new to the event and hi give me one minute and they don't understand that Marina, hi. they don't know that hold the line means work together sorry people are yelling at me but i just need to talk to you guys about this for a sec they don't understand that hold the line for us is Everyone had to cinch in really tight. People were being dragged away. People had blood on their faces. It was awful. And so when they yell that, everyone jumps up freaking out that 
they're getting raided pretty much, you know, when they hear people start saying that. So be really careful with your language. Um, and I understand the trust issues with the police, and I understand the trust issues people have even when I talk about the bus stop, because you're, you've got a group of people here who all, to some extent, understand corruption and understand that people have been planted in places to make people act a certain way and the vast majority of these people understand that and they are very 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 weary when people try and tell them and talk to them about anything um, and I get it and I totally get it and I think trust needs to be earned it's not just a natural given particularly with everyone that we have here hi how are you so that's what we're going through at the moment it's interesting I'll keep you guys updated there will be a wee memorial event today for what happened this time last week um, cool awesome all right, we're going to go and call some leadership and see if we can have a chat with some leaders and find out what happened this morning. All right. See you guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you guys going? We're just coming back live because we've just gone and talked with Heka from Freedman Rights and talked to a few people. I'm trying to find the glass that it's written on um, and talked to a few people about what just happened before. And apparently they've spoken with the police and they've told them, hey, Keep the peace. The people really just are quite happy. They're self-sufficient. We've got all the own security there. They're very, very content doing their own thing at the moment. It's working really well. So if you guys want to keep the peace, if you could just maybe leave the people to do their thing, that's cool. So that's what's going on now. And that's awesome. Obviously, this is the difference with live streams, right? Everything is very reactive because you're in that moment and you're just seeing what's going on instantly and talking to people on the ground and that's what makes it fun and engaging but it also is why we just need to go and chat with people and find out what's going on and then come back and update later on too so i haven't spoken with any of the moldy wardens yet that have trespassed people and i'd really like to because i think that that's you know a really good thing to have more knowledge about and to know about so i'm going to go and try and find and find them at some point today too I'm trying to find, do you guys know, there's writing on the High Court and it talks all about the right to your body autonomy and things like that. Apparently it's around here. I wanted to show you guys that. Sorry, my hay fever's kicked in so bad. So my eyes are watering. Well, it might be around that side, actually. Sorry, honey. I don't think that's it, is it? Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to our world. And yeah, that's a rubber band because that's where we're at, protest time. No, that's not it. It's around, I think it might be around that side then. Sorry, guys. Love you. Sorry. And then we'll go back to the, the thing. Go back to base camp. But yeah, see, everything's all good at the moment. I think that, I don't know. I have. I obviously didn't talk with the police. So I don't know if they've agreed to that, but I think they did. Um, for now, I just agree to let things chill and simmer. You have a lot of people that are new to the protest coming in every single day. So people can have a different idea sometimes if they've been watching from the outside about what the protest is about. But the protest is not about... That's a symptom of COVID. <laughs> it's crack up. I'm losing my voice having talking so much. Um, so they can get the idea that, you know, there's the protesters, the people versus the police. I think some, some of the new people. And that's not accurate at all. The protest is purely about the mandates and the people's argument and protest against the government's decisions. But it's very, very easy... I'm just trying to find this writing. But it's very, very easy when you're looking from the outside to kind of take assumptions on what's going on here. And it's not until you're here in real life that you can really tell people how to operate or, hey, how are you? Or what to do. Um, not even tell them what to do, but it's, you can't actually understand the environment and the energy until you are here in person. So I would just say like, if you're upset at people for playing music or holding a line or anything like that, just understand that people have been through a lot here together in very, very different ways. I still can't find this flipping writing. <laughs> I'll find it at some point and show you guys. Or jump on my dad, Lane Baker's page, because he showed you. How are you? I'm really hoping it's around this corner. I really want to find it, because I think it's super ironic that it's on the court building. So all the food and everything at site is free? Yes. Um... Oh, hi, how are you? Thank you so much for everything. Oh, thank you, lovely. Keep watching and keep telling us. Oh, thank you. We're just live now. Hi. Oh, hi, sweetie. I'm good. I'm really good. So nice to see you. Oh, what a time, eh? My hay fever is so bad, I keep crying. It's my hay fever's kicking in. Everyone's like, you're very emotional, Tam. Like, yeah. Nice to see you, lovely. I wonder... 
Still trying to find this darn writing. Hi, how are you? Maybe it's down here. We're going to go on a quick little mesh before we jump off. Um, here we are, Marlene Nigel. She's not organising, she's clarifying with the reps from the groups at the protest for the live stream. Exactly. I thought you kept stating you were independent media and not an organiser. I'm not an organiser. I don't know how many times I have to say that. But that's all right. Definitely not an organiser. Um, but the organisers have asked me to say things on their behalf, such as what people need. Hi, how are you? What people need and everything like that, because obviously we've got a bit of a following and I do support what they're doing. So there's a lot of work there. However, supporting what the organisers are doing is different to supporting every individual choice that other people make, right? Um, and a prime example is this one bus stop that people were really, really angry at me for talking about and saying I was paid by the government and whatnot um, and all it was I'm not talking about the whole bus depot it's just literally six cars just so that kids could get to and from school and everyone you know got very upset about that and not everyone actually a small amount of people got very upset about that and everyone else was kind of like well all good everyone make your own choices and that's all it's about all I'm saying is hey this is what people have asked for if you guys don't want to do it that's cool but it's up to you but we were trying really hard just to do that one bus stop so that kids could come safely to and from school and if people don't want to do that that's cool everyone's going to be accountable for their own decisions and that's what the government haven't been getting people to do for the last two years right they've told you this is what you have to do because this is our decision and I think that's wrong I think it should have always been what do the people want to do? Because this needs to be a decision that the people are accountable for. With the jibby jab, with mandates, with businesses mandating, the whole lot, with mask wearing, it should always be that you are personally responsible for your health. And that's what we haven't happened. That's what hasn't happened. And now at the protests, you're gonna find the same thing. People might go making decisions, like Brett Power walking up the stairs and whatnot. He's accountable for his decision, and he got let off, and that's awesome. And that's, oh, as far as I know, he's completely fine. Same with protesters, everyone, everyone. And same with the police, the police that grabbed people. I mean, we've all seen some really traumatic videos and we filmed a lot of stuff um, and it was really traumatic. And those, those police are gonna be accountable for their own decisions through the police complaint system as well. Um, and there have been a lot, of those, a lot of those complaints made. Also, if you know of anyone arrested, please let them know that they can get access to all of that footage from that Google Drive folder. You can't view it in Google Drive. It doesn't have the capacity to do that, so you'd have to download them. Um, they're kind of uploaded from the top of the day, like from the beginning of the day all the way down to the end of the day. So if you know roughly the time, you should just be able to download like the first few or whatever. Cool. This is what Japan did. It was the people's choice, and they told everyone to respect people's decision. Yeah. Um, and there have been people that have been quite aggressive here. My partner the lovely Jacob, the security grabbed him, like physically grabbed his arm as he walked in today and had a real go at him asking who he was with and told him he's not allowed to be there. Um, and that's not, that's not a peaceful, loving environment. Regardless if people don't like the media or not, it's still not a peaceful, loving environment. So I think that's what, where it's like, well, what are you wanting to achieve here? Are you wanting people to understand your side? Are you wanting them to see a peaceful, loving environment or not? Um, but yeah, I think that was really rough to do to Jake. And he was like, I'm with Chantal, I'm with Chantal. And then they're like, well, you're gonna have to prove it. And it's just all of that stuff where it's like, actually hold up. Like I've gone and talked to some of the stuff reporters and I've said to them, look, I'm not recording you. Um, if you guys are recording me, that's up to you. You guys can be accountable for your decision if you wanna record me. Um, and I just said, you know, just wanting to have a chat as human beings. Cause there's been not enough of that. There's not enough talk as human beings one-on-one. -on -one. Um, James Newman, people have been conditioned to not take personal responsibility for anything. We're all individuals, 100%. And this is on a social level, this is on a financial level. It's always like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be accountable. The society's done this to me, other people have done this to me. And this is everywhere across the board. Um, people are told it's because of their sex, their race, their religion, anything like that is the reason why things are happening to them. But we are always accountable for our own decisions and you can change your outcomes as well based on the decisions that you make. And we need, that needs to be taught so much more than victimhood, which is what they're trying to do at the moment. They show everyone that everyone's a victim, the whole world owes you. And then you just get into that victim state and it's a lot harder for you to accomplish things. Um, awesome. Okay, Convoy 2022, need to contact Fifi Brown, it's urgent. Cool, well, okay. Sorry guys, my hay fever is getting so bad that I'm starting to not be able to see very well. <laughs> Um, yes, and that bus stop was cleared for the people. It wasn't because the government wanted it, it was for the people. Exactly. It wasn't like, 
But again, you can't you can't force people to do anything, right? And when we came and talked to everyone, we tried to get them to understand and just saying, hey, it's just so that people can get to and from work. And then people were upset and like, you know, you're not an organiser, right? I know, I know. But that's what COP might make it easier is that it's like, hey, I care about you guys. You all know that. You've seen me there from day dot caring about you guys from six months ago where I was working a full-time job and still trying to get as much information to you guys as I could. And I wasn't sleeping till you know, 1am because I actually genuinely really care about our people and I care about change here in New Zealand. So we'll keep going. <laughs> we'll keep going. My hay fever is going to keep my eyes all drippy. Um, I'm probably going to take a break for... The rest of today, maybe I'll have someone else that can jump on and do lives for me, um, just because it's been nine days non-stop, and I just need a break from it. So I love you guys so much, and we'll talk soon. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Megan here on Chantelle Baker's live page. Uh, we're in Wellington at the Beehive, uh, still occupying the grounds, uh, asking for our freedom back, and um, man having the mandates dropped, uh, and everything else that goes along with that. And uh, we had a little technical glitch then uh, with uh, my terrible, uh, you know, IT ability. Uh, but we're going we're, we're back here now. So I've um, got a really exciting uh, person to speak to us. We've got somebody um, from the deaf community that is going to have a wee chat to all those other people in the deaf community that might be watching uh, to give them an idea of what it's like down here. Um, so hi to Greg. Um, hi Greg, uh, now everyone we've got an interpreter um, who used to work as an interpreter um, 15 years ago that has kindly offered to be Greg's voice um, in the background so thanks to her. Um, so Greg, we just wanted to ask um, what brought you down to the protests? So why did I come to this protest? I came because I wanted to stand up for my rights and my freedom of choice. It also really fires up my heart to be united with the amazing protesters and organisers that were here from day one. They've done an amazing job. Great. Okay. And so, um, have, have, can you tell us how the mandates have affected your life or your family's life? So the, abandoned, the mandates have affected me and my family quite badly. So there are four of us that are in my family that are deaf and we've all lost our jobs through these mandates. And really for deaf people it's quite difficult to find another job because we're deaf. It's already hard enough with access and, and trying to get another job is difficult. And we need to rely on New Zealand Sign Language for our communication so it's really limiting us to get a new job. Okay, and um, for those people that are at home, can you tell us what uh, you think about uh, this situation? I'm just going to give a quick view first of what it's like down here. Uh, so we've got uh, police and security. Okay, so uh, Greg, can you tell us what it's like at the protest? protest is beautiful and peaceful. There are a lot of people that are smiling and happy. They're all helping each other. Everyone's making sure that everyone else is okay. It's an incredible sense of unity and community here. There's so much humanity all throughout the camp. It's really strong vibe. Okay, and um, you um, had mentioned to me earlier that you um, had seen on TV some of the police brutality that happened a week ago. Um, I wonder if you can tell us about that experience, Greg. So what happened on TV last week with the police pushing the protesters? Wow, what did I say? That abuse? Gosh, it just it really is not appropriate. Because all the people here are just so peaceful and happy. It was really disappointing. Um, well, thanks very much for talking to us, Greg. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I love you guys. I love you, Megan. This yeah. sign means I love you, everyone. Use it well. Come here. 
We have um, a New Zealand Sign Language interpreter coming to uh, this protest festival uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. on Chantal Baker's live page. Please uh, tune in and find out what's really going on. Um, yeah, tomorrow at 5 p.m. So see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. And there'll be an actual interpreter here, everybody, who's going to be signing for the deaf community. So please come and watch. Otherwise, come and join us. All right. Thank you, Greg. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll be back soon. So we've uh, just come up to a higher plane here, right underneath the beehive, and bumped into this guy Luke, and he was just telling me about his T-shirt. So Luke, can you tell us about it? First, I'm going to say I'm a little bit starstruck, and I really respect your work <laughs> and no, your no, lovely no, no. daughter because she's got great reach and she's doing a great service. So my name's Luke. I've got a Facebook page called Luke Tukawingwa on the Facebook. I spelled Ingwa wrong, but I'm useless, so <laughs> I don't know how to change it. But here, the T-shirt. Okay. So the original mercenaries that came here in the late eight, uh, 17 to early 1800s brought a flag with them. It was a white flag with the black um, letters on it, and it spelled gospel. And in Māori it spelled Rōmō Pai, and that means good news, yeah? That means good news. So with all of the, it was before the politics, before the Treaty of Waitangi and all these things came. Yeah, and there was unity with the original pioneering ministries who were they were Protestant ministries. Now we have a my friend Eddie Morrison has a ministry, a baptism ministry service. It's free and she's trying to get off the ground. And it's under the spirit of the great man Joseph Matthews from Kaitaia, who was the first missionary there for, for peace amongst the people. So when the New Zealand land wars of the eighteen sixties was going through, they had they were thriving in peace up in the Kaitaia there. Under the gospel and the word. Awesome. Now, can I get an amen? Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, peace is what we're here for, you know, and it's great here, and I was looking at the kids who were doing chalk drawings, and people put chalk and messages up here, and there's a picture just back there, but the overall feeling you get when you're here is peace. And I think, you know, look, at the end of the day, people want to live in peace and not conflict, because conflict actually takes too much energy, but peace is just relaxing and kind. And I think when you walk through here, it's what you feel. It's peace, it's tranquil, it's kind, and, and you're not using up any energy. It's different, actually, when you walk down the main drag of Wellington, which we did earlier today. Uh, I saw someone put a post out that, you know, part-time uh, protesters going getting shirts, which is exactly what we did, because uh, the one shirt I bought, I washed a couple of times and it needed refreshing. But, but down there, there doesn't seem to be the peace. There's, there's, there's stress, there's anxiety, there's a bit of fear, and everyone is, is moving in there. Where we don't want them to there's no need to we don't have to in new zealand uh, we need to work in peace so how do we achieve peace with different views you accept different views and that's the problem with what the government's done it will not accept different views it says your views are unacceptable and we'll use force against you we'll use water against you we will play loud music against you but we won't give you peace because we disagree with your views and and that's not the role of government and so how do we solve it? Well, actually, we say to the government, you are for the people, not to rule over them, but to support them. We reduce the size of government, we allow people to control uh, their own areas, people to have a voice in their own areas, because that brings peace. Because what's happening here is it's self-governed. The police aren't controlling the peace here, it's the people that do. And when someone does something silly, it's the people that say that it's unacceptable. And that self-governing brings peace. There's no strife with it, there's no control about it, there's no dictatorial about it. It's just people say, hey mate, what you're doing isn't really helping, can you back down a wee bit? And self-governance is so important, self-control is so important. And, and when you get a government control, then the people rebel against and you don't get peace. And we've seen that, and, and you know, the protesters coming here came here mainly um, after they saw the violence that happened on Thursday because they said that's not an acceptable way to treat your population. Uh, what we love about the atmosphere here is the peaceful, calm, and all calm attitude of the people that are here. And the thing is, do we want that all over New Zealand? Is that how we want to live as a community? For me personally, I'd love to. Uh, and how do we achieve it? Well, we can achieve it together, but it's not by being dictated to, it's by being supported. So when you think about that, what sort of government do we need in the future? Uh, and what sort of life do you want to lead in the future? Is it a life of conflict or peace? At the moment, we're facing conflict around the world. You would have heard the rumours about uh, Russia surrounding Ukraine. I don't know if you've seen the numbers, uh, what Ukraine's got compared to Russia. Uh, it would be a one-way walk. You see the conflict happening in Iran, with Iran uh, enriching, enriching uh, plutonium to make the nuclear bombs. We see conflict around Israel. We see conflict with the threat to Taiwan from China. Everywhere we look, there's conflict, but actually we just want peace. 
and I believe we can have it if we work together and that's my plea for all in New Zealand at the moment.
Here we go, bit of action. Hey, for those that can't be here, we, we, we haven't forgotten you. We really appreciate you supporting and just being a part of this. So, keep it posted. It's been a busy day. We've had lots of chatting to lots of people. Enjoy! Hey guys, it's Megan here on Chantal Baker's live page. Uh, end of the night, the music ends pretty soon so we can all get a good night's sleep. So I'm going to come on in and uh, check out the music. How are you going? You're on Chantal Baker's live page. Having fun? It's a nice place to be right now, celebrating uh, in the pre preparation to get up early again tomorrow and uh, keep working on getting our freedom back. Hey guys, so it's been one week since um, the brutality that uh, the people on the ground felt and experienced. And we're here to just burn some energy and celebrate the peace and love that we've had this whole time despite all that violence. Uh, and to honor the guys that worked really, really hard to hold that line. So um, yeah, I hope you're having a good night. And we're gonna just do a little bit of dancing. Look, everyone's having such a good time. Come on, everybody. Vegan here on Chantel's page. Yeah, it's a beautiful festival. You notice the music is a lot more chilled. So we can all wind down and get some good sleep. You know, this is not a place to come and get hammered. This is a place to come and fight for our freedom. So we're enjoying the space, but also we've got a job to do, guys. So let's make sure we keep that in mind. Welcome to beautiful people around the world at Polyface 2022. Hey, going? <laughs> so we're here. We're here for freedom. 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 So come down here and uh, help us. Hey, how's it going? You've been here a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I can see live on live feed in front of me. Egyptian. 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 Oh, sorry. Well, there's a lot of people here. Egyptian. Come on down here, guys, if you want to have some fun, dance a little, and uh, just enjoy being being in the space where we don't have to worry about masks and exemptions. Hey guys, with Megan on Chantal's page. Egypt.
Joey, he ran out of power, flat battery. Oh, Wait, there's more. <laughs> So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, down here live for 2022. Guys, they're going to get the music started. Party Fest in Parliament, brand new for 2022. I'm going to invite live in the mix. We got the power. Autobots roll out. I Optimus Prime. And DJ Adabar live in the mix. International Rescue Thunderbirds are go! No Vex Pass needed guys, just come down and help support us in our uh, occupation of Parliament if Grounds to get our freedom back. Come back then, if you want to come back here, do everything you can to get back here. Come and help us peacefully protest the Kiwi way. It is. This is really fun. But keep in mind, guys, we are here for a reason. So come on down, stay sober, and just honestly enjoy the vibe of, of everybody. All this energy and love is making it one amazing festival. Last song, guys, because the music shuts down at 10 uh, and everyone winds down uh, with the aim of getting a good night's sleep, uh, getting back to their tents and just chilling out for a bit before, uh, yeah, sleeping. Seeing a lot of familiar faces, guys. So many people have been here from day one. Give him a hand, give him a leg, give him your toe and your elbow. I bet you might fly into the banks. The other DJ on the one, this is the sound guy here, and this is the camera here. Yes, you got on the bar. I bet you might fly into 2022. Party Fest 2022. Thank you, ladies and boys and girls. Bedtime. Good night.
for my knee. Thank you. Good night, guys. The party's just started. Oh, yeah. People are gonna sleep. We are at war, aren't we? Thank you, people <laughs> of New Zealand. Good night, Pomani. The Pomani on Instagram, man. Cool on Instagram. It might be ICS number two. See the blowout. Let's take a walk through, uh, through the festival. And, uh, Follow. Say good night to everyone. See you on the bus. See you tomorrow. Transformers. Good night. I Optimus Prime. Good night. Yeah, 10's a nice time to cut off the music and let everyone just mingle for a bit. We're, it's hard because so many of us have been segregated from the rest of society and have felt really, really alone. And so, you know, come here and it just feels like such a beautiful place to connect with everyone. Um, and so I get it. I understand why people are um, wanting to celebrate and party. Um, it's just that's what we've missed out on for so long. Um, but yeah, we've got to have a cutoff because we've got to make sure that people can sleep properly yeah, and um, make sure that they know uh, why we're here, which is to get our freedoms back. Uh, so it's, it's a nice end to the night, having a bit of a release after working really hard. Um, nah, no drugs. Um, you don't need drugs down here. Don't need alcohol. You just uh, need to bring yourself down and enjoy the space. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys for a walk downstairs. How are you going? I'm, it's Megan here. I'm uh, Chantelle Baker's friend. Hi, Chantelle Baker. <laughs> You're on Chantelle Baker's live page. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you standing here quietly, peacefully, okay. just chilling out. I was just admiring our brothers from yeah. a different mother. Yeah, they're working hard and uh, yeah. keeping things peaceful amongst themselves, so that's really good. Yes, indeed. Really important because we're keeping things peaceful amongst ourselves. Sorry? Because we're keeping things peaceful amongst yes, ourselves. Yes, indeed. They, they all do likewise. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. So if we all just work together and yeah, yeah. all we want is indeed. the government to come down and talk to us, um, mm. talk to the people that have um, said that they'll talk to them so that we can get awesome. back to our lives yes, and the mandates yeah, and stop the segregation. <laughs> Yeah. Is that what brought you down? What else brought you down? Uh, I, I just came down because I felt strongly about the uh, vaccine slash drench yeah. that they uh, administer, because they administered my sister. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here because it means that's, you know, another person that's here to stand up for our rights. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much. What was your name? I'm known as Rambo. Rambo, hello. Well, hello to your sister as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll keep thank walking, guys. <laughs> Thanks for talking with me. That's all right. Good night, you guys. Look after everyone. <laughs> no, his name was Rambo. All right, guys, I'll show you the sign. We'll come down here. Uh, it was awesome, so I, um, I was able to take a little bit of a break today. I uh, haven't had a shower for quite a few days, so I um, managed to get myself to the beach. Just readjust my bow, just in the right place. Um, yeah, got myself down to the beach. It was a beautiful sunny day here in Wellington, and I was starting to smell a bit like I'd been at a festival for uh, quite a few days, so I thought I'd just take myself down and have a swim and uh, use that salt water to help um, just regenerate, rejuvenate, refresh. It was beautiful. So if you guys get a chance and you're down um, in Wellington, you're, you're at the festival, think about going down to the beach today, tomorrow and just having a swim and looking after yourself, you know, because while we're... Hey, guys. <laughs> yes. I was just saying, because um, I haven't showered for quite a few days. <laughs> Well, I went to the beach and had a swim for a yes. couple of hours and took a break. So we're just saying how important yeah. it is to actually look after yourself. You can't look after other people if you're not looking after yourself. Mm -hmm. you know? And on a beautiful day like this, you, or like, like we had, you can go. Ah. <laughs> That's good. People keep coming up to me and showing me their live feeds of this, which is really bizarre. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we'll get down to the beach and catch more. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Go for a cocoa, go for a yeah. slip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really nice. important. And keep on track, you know, we're actually here to get our freedom back. So, uh, yeah, really important. So have a good night. We've got tons of um, chalk stuff on this wall, chalk writing, messages of love. Did I take soap? Nah. No point taking soap. The salt water's good enough. <laughs> I've been gone for six or seven hours. <laughs> Get on down here and you tell me what you're doing, mate. <laughs> We're all in this together. So, uh, yes, we haven't been live streaming for a while, but we have been doing a lot of stuff to um, make sure that, uh, you know, we have the ability to bring you guys um, some live streams. Obviously, it's really hard for us to be doing that all the time. It's actually impossible. No one can be on here 24 hours a day. And honestly, who would want to listen to my croaky voice after uh, non-stop talking for eight hours? Um, so, yeah, it's been nice. I feel like I'm ready for another day. Uh, hopefully I get a good sleep tonight. Hopefully the, uh, the noises um, around the camp are a little quieter after, you know, 11 or 12 o'clock. Uh, I was up to 2 o'clock last night just chatting to people and um, encouraging them to use their quiet voices while there are people sleeping around camp and remembering that some of us have been here since the convoy arrived. Uh, and this is exactly what we are here for. Okay. We're here to look for our freedom. It's <laughs> exactly what we're here for. Now remember tomorrow, guys, we have um, Chantal having a chat with a New Zealand Sign Language interpreter at 5 p.m. Uh, that's to make sure that people in the deaf community can actually have some access to uh, some information that doesn't come out of the government because we know that uh, that picture is not always uh, the picture we see in front of us. So um, jump jump on the live stream if you want to see that. And if you know anyone who is um, deaf or hard of hearing, understand sign language, um, come on in and, and join us at 5 o'clock. The army is not here. <laughs> uh, no, the army is not here. You guys, there's so many rumours. Um, and I, I wonder if that's part of trying to get us all a bit disorganised and confused and um, panicky, you know, there's nothing like a good rumour to freak everyone out, so let's make sure we don't spread anything that we don't, um, that we haven't backed up, I'm learning that lesson very much myself. Uh, How beautiful is this community here? I hope if you can, you can get down here because it, it's just such a lovely space. As I said, we don't need drugs or alcohol. Um, we actually just are sharing love and happiness. There are, you know, there are people having a few drinks um, and we're going to be doing that much quieter and uh, looking after each other and making sure everyone gets some sleep. So please keep that in mind. Um, when you do come down, this is a sober event. Um, much better for your skin as well. Just partying on love as a drug rather than uh, anything else. <laughs> You're clear. You're clear. Oh. <laughs> wow, it turns really well. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm going to have a quiet night tonight. Me too. We're going to get an early night's sleep. It's yeah. 10 o'clock, just after 10. It'll be good to get... And I'm looking forward to doing this. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking at the people. Exactly. Brilliant.
Uh, I do have somewhere to stay on site, um, which is really good because it just means we've got, um, you know, able to find out if anything's going on um, that we need to know about. But it's been another really peaceful day. Um, people working together, making sure that we look after each other. And uh, yeah, it seems pretty quiet down here, which is great because I definitely need some sleep tonight. All right, guys, good night. I'm glad I could show you the end of uh, the night up here on the, um, the one week anniversary of um, the guys that held the line and got arrested and that awful abuse. But it's not about that here. It's about peace and love and asking the government to speak to the people that um, have offered to talk and have asked to talk to them and getting these mandates dropped uh, and everything else that goes with it. All right, good night.